Hi Superstars! Today I'll not be sharing business ideas, rather I'll be sharing business insights and wisdom. I'll be sharing a very short and impactful story of a business owner. And I trust that by the end of this video, so many business owners will learn and will avert these mistakes. And so many people who want to start a business will learn from this. Okay, my superstars, this is about a business owner who had money. And she said she wanted to travel outside the country to another country and go and buy goods and then ship it back to Nigeria and sell. So she went on that trip with another person who knew her way around that country. I don't want to mention the country, okay, but it's a country so many people go to buy goods, okay. So they set out, they got there, she paid for their transportation, their flight down there. She paid for accommodation for so many days and they went around, they bought so many things. They bought Bluetooth speakers, they bought car holders, phone holders. Uh, I remember I saw uh, headphones, I saw CCTV, I saw mm, clones, I saw there's a clothes stand, okay, I saw a lot of things. So she went around, they bought all those things and then they shipped it back to Nigeria. After they shipped it down to Nigeria, she had to pay lots of money at customs to clear those goods. And after clearing the goods, they now brought it, transported it down to Aqua Ibom State. All these were additional costs. From cost of traveling down to that country, to co accommodation cost, to expenses while living there, the cost of shipping those goods back to Nigeria, cost of clearance, and then cost of moving it down to Aquaibum State. And after she did all that, the real thing started. She now had to keep it somewhere. And she didn't know how to market these goods. She had a big shop. She just kept it in that shop. And those goods remained there. Only few people who know knew her or visited the shop were able to access those goods so she sold some and had lots and lots and lots of goods seated right there without being sold because she didn't know how to go about selling it she didn't have a market for those goods she didn't run ads for those goods so many things she couldn't do for those goods so though that money was all tied up in one place after a while, most of those goods became outdated. Okay, some of those uh, Bluetooth speakers, people no longer used that particular brand. Because of the cost of logistics, clearance and everything, the cost of those goods were very, very high. And so many people, whenever they will come, they will complain, it's too expensive, it's too expensive. And they will leave it right there. And at the end of the day, she couldn't sell it. So after a while, she now had to start selling at giveaway prices, selling at giveaway price prices to save some capital she had invested. So you see, it is not enough to have money to start any business. You need to know that business. You need to have capacity to be able to handle that business you are going into. It's not enough to travel to any country and buy goods. Do you have a market for that goods? Do you have the right channel outlet to sell those goods out? Do you know how to go about selling it? Do you know if people need that particular good or you're just going to go buy it and come and dump it? So my superstars, I came to tell you that before going into any business, it's not enough to have money. You can just go and flush your money down the drain. It's not enough to have money to start a business, but start a business that is sustainable. A business you can sell, a business you can make profits, a business you can grow and then keep going back, investing and investing. So for people who tell me they want to go to other countries and buy goods and all that. That's the first thing I ask. 
do you have the market for that goods if you don't have the market for that goods then please don't go ahead rather buy from nigeria buy from nigeria we have so many big importers in nigeria who you can buy from people who buy in large quantities who have warehouses in nigeria you can buy from and then test the market as someone who's thinking of starting any business i wouldn't advise that you rush and start importation don't start importation my superstars rather look for people we have big importers people who have been in business and they have the capacity the technical know-how to import goods from other countries to nigeria they have they know their way around these things they know how they clear their goods at affordable rates they know how they get these things done so rather than start by going to other countries to go and buy products and come and tie down your money i would advise you go and find these bulk importers and buy from them buy from them and try out your market try it out you could just take pictures and advertise and then when people need it you get it get it and send it to them you can start that way that way you don't get to tie down your money you don't get to tie down your capital somewhere with no hopes of getting it okay so the advantage of doing this is that you know if there's actually a market for that product you are test running that product to see if it will work if you can sell and if after trying and trying and trying and trying you can sell you can always walk away and try another product without running at losses okay my superstars so as a beginner starting any business i wouldn't advise you run go and import from another country go and find an a big a major importer and partner with that importer work with that importer we have so many goods in this country that are looking for people to market them we have so many goods in this country that are looking for people to sell them make yourself available and make money with no risk involved yes absolutely no risk the importer is the one who shoulders the risk the importer shoulders the risk of buying the product okay sometimes the import and this product have issues on them okay so you don't shoulder those risk you only advertise and sell those products and by the time you have sold and sold to you have a large market a large market of buyers who keep requesting for these goods you can then take a step further to start importing knowing that you have a ready market available for that product and your money won't be tied down okay my superstars all right this opens an opportunity for big importers some people are like i don't know where these importers are okay so now i'm opening an opportunity for big importers people who have capacity people who have big warehouses people who buy goods in large volumes from other other countries if you're one of such people and you would want me to come and do a video okay so that people can know you and do business with you then you can always reach out to me and we'll get started you can send me a mail via idzillion at gmail.com or you can call me send me a mail via whatsapp 070-444-81914 and we'll get started okay so that from there so many people will get to know you and other people who do not have what it takes to import can buy from you and start growing okay my superstars so do you know anyone who has faced something like that and you love to share the story please write it in the comment section and have you liked this video well hit the like button give me a thumbs up thank you if you have any question please leave it in the comment section and i'll get right back to you Thank you for watching my superstars i appreciate every one of you if you have not subscribed hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever there's a new video i hope this was helpful and you won't make the mistake this business owner made okay till our next video always remember that 
I love you. Bye, superstar.